the intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, taking a look, watching, having a good time about the Majoran faction, which depending on when you watch this video is either brand new or something that has just released recently. So, by the way, you saw the Twitch thing pop up today, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you're watching this, the time this rolls out. My birthday stream is on Twitch, so join the Twitch channel. Link is in the description. And how we're going to do this video is we're going to break it down as if you need to unlock Bajoran Faction, then where it goes from there. So to start with, let's talk about what it is. Bajor just released the faction. Here's your Bajor. And then if you go into it, you see the wormhole. And then up here, you'll have a whole bunch of hostiles. But before that, let's talk about unlocking the Bajoran Faction. To unlock the Bajoran Faction, if you got it here recently, there is a gift chest that gives you rep. So the Bajoran Faction is a positive rep only faction, meaning you can't go into the negative, and once you get positive rep, you unlock it. The exact same way the Stella rep grind works with Outlaw. So you'll have a gift chest. Now, if you're watching this in the future sometime, whether it's you know January 2023 or whatever, you're going to want to use the Hollow Deck. Now, in the Hollow Deck, there will be a DS9 tab where you can unlock two missions that can then give you what you're looking for. One of those missions is called Dr. Taylor, uh, um, yeah, Dr. Taylor Soldier Spy, which is about Garrick, obviously, and One Man Villain Part 5. Now, on the screen here, I'll put it here in just, uh, well, let's do this one right here. Boom! Transition. This is the reward for the mission. As you can see at the very end, you get, you got it, rep. And that rep unlocks, unlocks the Bajoran faction for you. Now, for those curious, the diodes for this, if you're watching this and didn't get it, you know, they get paid out through event stores and they also will come through battle passes. So this is giving you future sourcing for this faction to go through this way. Now, beyond that, let's start with what you got to start with because there's a lot of currencies. Like, man, look at all of them. Look at this whole, it looks complicated, doesn't it? By the way, shout out to our friend Bottom Right for uh, the uh, credit for creating this. So it looks like a lot, but it's not as complicated as it might seem. We'll walk you through each individual step. This is also in my Discord, by the way. So if you need that, join the Discord. It's there. We try to put all that information in the Discord. So what you're going to do is up here, you have all this faction space. Now, for those lower level players, I do want to denote for you that the starter warp range is warp 35, which you can actually get to you know, pretty easily low 30s, even high 20s if you want to explore these systems. In these systems, you're going to find a variety of hostiles that do different things. So for example, you have the starter armadas, which are going to drop this currency right here, the uncommon solo armada credit, and then also these, these edicts right here, which will cover what the dominion edicts do in a second. Then you also have the primary focus at the very, very beginning are grinding these hostiles for the antimatter currency. So I know you've already seen three currencies, but this is a full-fledged faction, and there's a reason for all of those, and we're going to go through that. So let's go ahead and hop into the faction store itself to talk about it. Now, for those curious how high it actually goes up in your chart in terms of what are the rep levels, I know we get asked a lot about the rep levels here, and Ripper was kind enough to provide me the chart. Here are the rep levels. So you're going to start off with neutral, then tolerated, then guerrilla, then militia, then etc., etc. Once again, things provided in my Discord if you need them for reference. Now, really cool thing about this is this has a built-in rep tree, a built-in research tree called Bajoran Favors. This, to me, is everything that the Stella loop should have been, but easier, and it's much, much better. So you have researches that you're going to unlock. They, they are kind of like exocomp slash researches that are permanent. Once you get them, you're good to go. But let's talk about the grinding that we had to do. Remember, I talked about grinding those antimatter units. So for antimatter units, you're going to come here to Hostile Exchange, and my goal is, and I encourage you, you want to pull three a day. You want to get the biggest pull you can. And what's interesting about this is it actually scales by ops level. So the amounts you're going to see me getting and everything are probably different than what you were seeing. But what's important is it scales and the math I'm about to talk about all works for everybody. Okay, so I'm going to pull three chests. Bam, that gives me 315 Bajoran badges for me. Again, another currency. Take a shot for every time Rev Sev's currency, and if you're still alive at the end of the video, we'll play Star Trek Fleeky Man together. Now, what you're going to do with Bajoran badges is you have three options. Now, here's where we're going to do a little bit of quick math. I'm going to base it off mine, but remember the scales no matter where you're at. So you have three options you can spend badges on. Number one is Bajoran Reputation right here. Cost me 100, and it scales up to a 
triple pull if you wanted to do more faction at once. Obviously, remember, when you do bulk purchases in Star Trek Fleet Command, you pay a higher premium. The second one, which I will always recommend getting no matter what, is your Armada Directives. Now, this game is set up to give you seven a week. You get one free a day just from doing the rep grind. So in terms of sourcing directives, it's arguably the best sourcing we really have. Every single day, you can get one. Every day, doing a solo armada. We'll talk about those in a little bit. And then finally, the credit exchange. Now, DJ said, probably stay away from this. I'm going to slightly disagree. Here's why I slightly disagree. I do agree with him in general. But for example, if I did my triple pull every day, just at this level, I'm going to get 2,205 of the Bajoran badges. Now, how much does it cost me to do these? I would recommend doing rep pull every day, no matter what. That means if I did my singular rep pull, I'm gonna spend uh, 700 because it's 100 each. That drops me down you know, to what, 1500 in terms of my badges. And then if I did my directive exchange every week, which costs me 135, that's going to run me 910. That leaves me about 595, right at 595 a week left over. Now remember, this scales by your rep and by your level. So you are set every day if you triple pull to be able to pull two of these, but you'll have some left over, which means every couple of days, if I want, I can actually go and pull Bajoran credits. Now, the reason Bajoran credits are important is for a couple of reasons. One of those reasons being it allows us to get these favors. These are researches. And once you get them, they're permanent. And they very, very much help. So you will come down to something like say, oh, I don't know. Y'all talk about the refinery being crap. What about this? For Jordan or refinery, increasing G4 and G5 refinery payouts by 50, 150, and 150%, as well as a pretty nice little power boost there. So the value that you're getting from these favors is pretty daggum high. So getting these credits however you can is important, but remember, there are multiple ways. So let's go back up to this top. If you do your uncommon armadas every day, you're gonna be able to come through and pull the uncommon chest with that armada credit we talked about. The cool thing about this chest is you're guaranteed 175 solo rares. So you're going to get about two, maybe three-ish a week of the rare directives. That's kind of how it's set up depending on the armadas you're hitting and how you're taking them down. Now, you'll also get Bajoran credits here. So more credit sourcing that you can get more of those things that we're talking about as well as diplomacy tokens, which we'll talk about when we spend those here in just a second. Lots of currencies. Ooh, y'all are not going to make it by the end of this video because of what I told you. <laughs> Let's talk about it. So remember I said the rep, as you level up, we need to get to say gorilla for certain things like this material claim. Let's click material claim and on the screen I put what we have from Ripper on the level. So material claim is going to cost you, you guessed it, diplomacy tokens. But look at what you get here. You have a chance of pulling more uncommons and commons for your uh, payouts. So you have a very good, in my opinion, the value is pretty decent, even the lowest percent chance, like 245 on a chance for uncommons, I'll take that, is a pretty decent payout. Now, you have to get to the gorilla to start earning that. You also have the material claim credit, which this uses Bajoran credit. So, hey, we actually have a currency doing multiple things here. So, if you didn't want to spend it on favors, you can spend it on this one. Personally, I would stay away from this one because I want to focus on unlocking favors. And I really do believe, as you can see on the right side of your screen, there are some great favors. I like the whole, bol uh, whole bonus one. I think that's very valuable. I like all the efficiency researches. I like the loot drop increase. We'll talk about strategies in another video because we don't want this to be too long. This is just explaining how everything works. Now, if you come down here, you'll also see the elite loot exchange, which those are the, the minion solo edicts we talked about. And this gives you, look at these payouts, more chance for Armada directives, both rare and uncommon guaranteed Bajoran credits again, guaranteed diplomacy tokens and chance for officer sourcing and ship parts. And this was gonna be really big for a lot of you players entering into the 40s and 50s, more ship part sourcing, pretty big deal. Now you gotta get up and rep to get that to uh, pop strong, but still, you've also had the other epic loot exchange, this one taking just your epic credits and then rare credits, all of these giving you ways to source various things in this new tree. Poof. That was a lot. And I think we covered everything in 10 minutes. That's impressive. Also, pure officer recruitment. Once again, take you for Jordan Chris. But Jordan Chris thankfully gets used a lot. But there's sourcing for officers, there's sourcing for directives. There's a decent loot grind here.
Now, the only complaint I really have is we can talk about it being a little bit of a hefty grind. Like, it's a little much. It's a little extra. It's the time requirements for me to fill up my auger hole is probably 30, 45 minutes of grinding because I'm trying to get the triple pull every day, which means I need to grind 140,000 antimatter units a day currently. As I wrap up, those requirements, of course, will change and everything. But as we're looking at it and as we're doing all this, here's the rough math of what's effective. Here's how it works. Here's how you unlock it. And I'm really curious to see what you think about it. Personally, I love this. I think this is everything I've wanted from a new faction if it's designed similar to Outlaw. This is Outlaw, but good. Like Outlaw has great things in it, but the grind is horrendous with the scrapping mechanic and everything. This actually gives you stuff every day to do. It rewards you for your grind every day. I personally really like it, but I'm curious what you think as well. We've covered the edicts. We've covered the Bajoran credits. We've covered how to get the Bajoran badge. We've covered all the uncommon currencies. I do want to remind you one thing finally. As you get into here, people are asking, hey, what are these token systems? G4 and G5 mining. Hey, how do we do the armadas and everything? What are the armadas like? Remember, solo armadas mean only you run them, but you can run up to three ships. I picked a wrong system. So, uh, Ekamuk has them. You can run three ships on a solo armada. Three. Now, maybe a prime comes out one day, which lets you add a fourth. I don't know. But you can run three ships, and I've got plenty of people who are running this with G3 Epics and winning. Crews are important. Video, of course, coming, talking about various crewing for this. Hopefully, this video covered everything that you need to get in and start playing this. But let me know. Majoran Faction, we got you unlocked. We got you started. More info coming later in the week and later on. Live long and prosper. Stay safe in the space, Cowboys. Deuces, that's me. Catch you on the next one. We outie. Bye. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.